like I have, say, four fan clubs in the organization. The Rebel Ola, James Rebel O'Leary International and the Jamie Ann Fan Club. I have the, the O'Leary Brothers, and I have the J Jamie Ann and the Rebel uh, Tape Club. And out of this, they have members or, who participate in this in these fan clubs and the Rebelettes, and we pick one by votes they vote them in. And uh, they represent my clubs. And uh, this come about because we wonder what was the prettiest girl in each fan club, or what was the prettiest girl in there. I gotta admit, I kinda was very interested at first on this deal because I wanted to just see what it would produce, you know. Had naive, probably, uh, ideas in mind, but uh, at the time it's been very successful. Well, all the people I know would take hours and hours, but the people around me here, Loretta Lynn is a very good friend of mine. Uh, Conway Twitty and I are the best of friends uh, you have behind me here. Tom T. Hall, uh, Grandpa Jones. I know them through uh, actually my experience in uh, show business. Uh, you have just about everybody won Billy Christ credit. Ernest Tubb, which passed away, a gentleman was, he's a lifelong friend. Uh, you have Tex Ritter. We have uh, just about anyone you want to mention I've performed sometime rather than on stage. These picture was taken either on the stage or at dinners with me or uh, sessions of, of uh, television or something. And I have eight for ten with them and I have a picture of them and I together. And as you notice, my whole walls are full of stars and golden memories to me. Uh, memories you can't put a price limit on. It. What star might come in town, he'd come here and uh, I tell you, it's courtesy. I go to his town. I have dinner with him or go to his place if he's available. He has a show, I try and appear there. And if they come to one of my shows there in town, it's courtesy. Uh, it's like a slap in the face if you was be in the same town and their entertainment's going, you knew about it and didn't at least drop in a few minutes. It's uh, just playing being polite and it's playing being a fellow musician. I jumped out of teenagers a couple years ago. <laughs> uh, when I say you come 19, then you become 20 team of works, they all say, but after that you become umpteen. See, I'm getting around that line where you're umpteen like Jack Benny, see, you know, I mean, I'm going to drop at 39, I'm going to stay there, see, and uh, I'm going to, I'm, if anything, I'm going backwards, I ain't going forwards, you know, <laughs> but I consider myself a teenager, like umpteen, and I get, and I'll tell you what a man told me and my grandfather, he says, son, he said, you're just old as you feel you are, and he was 93 at the time then, he could carry more load than I could, and I was 18, so you feel... I guess it does mean a lot, you know, it's when your health and what you can do. If you feel old, you can be 19 year old and be old. Me, I'm alive. I only live once. And, uh, and I'm going to try to enjoy it. And, uh, and uh, I, I think I'm going to make my mark. People know I was here anyway. Oh,